Today's what I want to do is I want to show you how to root your uh, Samsung Galaxy Note. This is the original Galaxy Note, the i717 that was made specifically for AT&T. Okay, now um, I'm going to show you how to root this. This is the newest Jelly Bean 4.1.2 update that's come out recently. Uh, but this step will work for ice cream sandwich stock ROM as well. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is show you how to root this thing. Um, so the first thing we need to do over here on the computer, let me show you the files that you need to download. So the first thing you need to do is download this Odin program. Okay, And I'll have a link in the, in the description to all three of these different files that I'm about to show you that you need to download. So you need to go over here to this to this site, download this Odin 3 version 3.07. So you're going to push regular download. It's going to make you wait a few seconds, then download that. You can see that it's just four tenths of a megabyte, so it's not a very big file. It won't take down, take long to download that. Okay, so that's one thing you need to download. Another thing you need to download is our custom recovery. And the custom recovery we're going to be using today is Team Win Recovery Project. That's what this TWRP stands for. So on this page, if you scroll down to the bottom, you want to go down to this Open Recovery TWRP dash 2.5.0.0. You want the Quincy AT&T dot image dot IMG dot tar. Okay. Make sure you download the image dot tar. Then the, the last file, the third file you need to download, and I'll have a link to this as well, is you need to download this CWM Super User SU version 0.94.zip. Okay. So those are your three files you need to download. The Odin file, the recovery, and this, uh, this super SU uh, .zip file here. Okay. Now, if I go into my download folder, I've already downloaded it, and you can see here that this Odin 3 version 3.07 is a .rar. So when I double click on that, um, you can see here it brings up this program WinRAR. So RAR is just a way to compress a file. It's like a zip. So if you don't have a program to open a RAR, you can just Google WinRAR and download this program. It's a good free program to open any type of RAR files. Okay, so it's what I'm going to do now is double click and open that folder or uh, for that matter uh, let me just is what I'm gonna do is yeah I'm gonna go ahead and open this folder I'm gonna take these four the four things in here and extract them onto my desktop if you want to make a folder just take that folder over and drag it over that's fine I'm just gonna leave it uh, I'm just going to put it directly on my desktop so it's easier to see here. Okay, so I've taken those four files out of this, put them out onto my desktop. Okay, so this Odin program right here is the program we're going to use to flash our custom recovery. Now, that's the next file that you downloaded is this Open Recovery, the 2.5.0, and it's the .image.tar. So it's what you want to do with this is take this from your download folder and drag it and put it out on your desktop. Okay, I've already got it there, so I'm not going to drop that. But take this, uh, drag it, drop it on onto your desktop. Then the third file that uh, that I told you about was uh, this this one right here. Okay, leave this file as a .zip. Now, so what we need to do with this file is this file needs to be needs to be put onto our phone. Okay, so I'm going to plug in my phone here, and it should recognize it. There it is. So under computer, you see my phone here, and we can either put it on the card or on the phone. You can put it anywhere that you want to. In this example, I'm just going to go ahead and do it on the phone. So if I open the phone here. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this file, the zipped file, I have not unzipped it, and I'm just going to drag it and drop it right here onto my phone. And I've already put it there, so whatever, I'll just put copy and replace. Okay, so I've got that file now stored on my phone. Okay, now, so what I'm going to do is unplug my phone. And it's what I want to do is I want to power my phone off here. Okay. And 
I'm going to wait for my phone to completely power off. Now, as that's powering off, I'm going to open up my Odin program here. Okay, so once I open this in the PDA slot right here, I'm going to click on PDA, and then on here on my desktop, I'm going to find that Open Recovery, the TWRP 2.5.0.0, the one that ended in .image.tar. Okay, so I'm going to open that right up into the PDA slot. Now my phone is, is dead right now. Okay, I've powered it off. So, so what I want to do is I want to push and hold the volume down button. All I'm doing is holding volume down. I'm not pushing the power button. Okay, just volume down. As I'm holding volume down, I'm going to take my cable and I'm going to plug it back in. Okay, and then it's going to bring us into this right here. And this is what we want. So we want to volume up to continue, and you can see here now it says downloading. And now you can see over here on my program where it says COM, it shows that it's reading my phone on a port. So on COM12, it's reading my phone. So it's, it's connected and ready to go. So when I flash this, it's flashing a custom recovery to my phone. All right, so when I push start, you can see here it's flashing recovery. This doesn't take long at all. It says reset, reset OK. Everything went through fine, and so my phone is going to be rebooting. I just felt it vibrate, and now it's going to be rebooting. Okay, now after my phone reboots, this is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and turn this thing off. Okay, I'm going to turn it off again now. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to boot back up into my custom recovery that we just flashed to it. So I'm going to wait for it to go completely dead here. Okay, finally died there. Okay, now so what I want to do is I'm going to push volume up and down at the same time. As I'm holding volume up and down, I'm going to push the power button. I'm going to hold all three of those, okay? Hold all three of those together. Okay, I felt it vibrate. I'm going to let off the power button, continue holding volume up and down. And there you go. It's brought us up into this team win. This is my custom recovery that we just flashed to it. Okay, now I want to go to install. And this, what I want to do now is I want to go and look for that file that we just put on here. Okay, and there it is right there. This CWM Super SU version uh, 0.94.zip. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that, and then we're going to swipe to confirm flash. And so it'll flash through the thing that it has here to do. It won't take very long at all, and uh, says right here successful. Okay, so I'm gonna reboot system. And that's it. We just rooted our phone. Okay, now whenever it boots back up, I'm going to test to make sure that it has, uh, that my phone is rooted, that it's properly rooted. And uh, I'll show you uh, one way to test if, it, if your phone's rooted now or not. Okay, now there's a lot of ways to test if you have root or not. This is the way I check it. So if you'll go into the Play Store, go into the Play Store, and download the program Titanium Backup, okay?
So I've already got this program downloaded to my phone, but download this, titanium backup, and you can see there it says root. In other words, this app will not work unless you have root. So that's how we're testing it. So once I open that, once you download it and you open it, it's gonna it's going to check to see if you have root. If you do not have root, if if uh, you didn't get it done properly, this app will tell you you do not have root access or something to that effect. Um, if you have root and if you've gone through the steps that I've showed you, you are. It'll it'll say okay. Uh, there'll be one other thing it'll want you to do in Titanium is it'll want you to go over here uh, into your developer options. It'll be asking you this: make sure developer options are turned on, and it'll be asking you to turn on USB debugging. Okay, so that's it. That's the way you root your phone. Um, a lot of people ask, well, why do you want to root your phone? Well, one reason why you want to root your phone is so that you can get rid of all the, the stock AT&T apps. And I've got another video about how to do that, which is pretty simple. In fact, you just do it through Titanium. But I'll link to that video. So that's one reason to root is so you can get rid of all that junk because AT&T puts all that stuff on there. And with all of their stuff and the stuff that you want to download, it just it becomes cumbersome to your phone. If you can get rid of... Get rid of uh, some of those junk apps, it helps to free your phone up and helps it to run a whole lot more smoothly. Hope you enjoyed it today. Thanks.